Hello, Psych2Goers. We just want to take the time to thank you for all your kind support. We are a team of dedicated, passionate, and hardworking individuals who come together every day with one goal in mind. We want to make psychology come alive for you. We are self-funded and recently launched our Patreon. If you enjoy the work we do and find it meaningful, please stick around until the end of the video for information on how to get more involved with us and all the cool rewards you can get from us. We've all experienced embarrassing moments, whether that means tripping down the stairs, spilling coffee on ourselves, or smiling at our crush with food stuck in between our teeth. There's a misconception that by the time you hit a certain age and settle into adulthood, then you'll have it all together. But truthfully, we'll all continue to have embarrassing moments for as long as we live. If making mistakes and being human is inevitable, then how can you cope with humiliating moments? Here are six effective ways to handle embarrassment. 1. Don't beat yourself up. It's okay. Embarrassment often goes hand in hand with perfectionism. When you feel as though you aren't meeting up to your own standards, it's easy to fall into the trap of self-criticism. As a result, you may fear your next performance won't go as well based on past bad experiences. But don't beat yourself up over your mistakes and failures. Instead, allow yourself to be imperfect and see your embarrassing moments as learning opportunities to get better. It's okay to mess up. 2. Focus on the non-emotional details of the moment. According to Dr. Ekaterina Denkova, the next time your mind decides to replay an embarrassing moment, try to steer your attention to the non-emotional details, such as the color of the shirt you were wearing, the setting, or what the weather was like. This will help you detach from the memory, and you won't remember it as intensely compared to when you focus on the negativity, which can stir up your embarrassed feelings again. When you experience heightened emotions, it makes it harder for you to let go and move on. We recommend that you concentrate on details that put you in a neutral state. 3. Laugh it off. According to Dr. Susan Whitborn, a former professor of psychological and brain sciences, the most effective way to handle embarrassment is being able to confront it directly. Although your first instinct might be to run away and hide, this will only prolong your unresolved feelings of embarrassment. That's why it's important to stick to the situation until you can alleviate your stress. Whitbourne recommends laughing it off in order to reduce tension. After all, staying in a serious mood will only influence you to hold on to the negativity. 4. See it as a great storytelling opportunity. Have you ever shared a story starting with the statement, Hey, remember that time when I did X, Y, and Z? That was so funny. More often than not, it's your embarrassing moments that make the best stories you can share with your friends and family. While they're happening, they may not be fun, but in retrospect, it's easier to see how silly they are. The best part is knowing you survived, too. So the next time you want to die of embarrassment, think of your top three embarrassing moments, and remember that despite those occurrences, you're still here in one piece. 5. Talk it out with a close friend, lover, or family member who won't judge you for it. It's difficult bottling up your emotions, so talk about your embarrassing moment with someone you trust. Instead of feeling bad about the situation, tell them what's bothering you. It always helps to get support and another perspective that may encourage you to find some positivity in the negative situation. In fact, the person you confide in may also share a similar embarrassing moment that happened to them. It's always a relief to know that you're not alone. 6. Try again. You might dread going back to the same place, and seeing the same people who were there when you embarrassed yourself. But be brave and face them. If you continue to build walls in front of you, the situation will only haunt you longer. Others will also detect the awkwardness you are projecting when you avoid them, which will make it hard for them to forget about it too. It might not be easy when you first step in again and go on with your normal routine, but progress can't be made without starting over. Try again, you've got this. Do you have embarrassing moments often? How do you handle them? Please share your thoughts with us below. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more content from Psych2Go and check out our Patreon. We started it because we want to grow into a bigger platform that reaches more people who are in need of help. With your contribution, you can receive our PSI pendant, t-shirt, issues of our magazine, and many more membership benefits. Your funding will help us produce quality script writing, voiceovers, and animation that makes our content both entertaining and educational. We want to make sure our community members get the best and only the best. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, I just want to give a personal thank you video for you guys for always supporting Psych2Go and making this all possible for us. Our vision is to make psychology as accessible as possible so that it promotes self-awareness and it helps you guys grow. 
However, we want to make more content for you guys and would love your support in buying one of these bracelets from our partner, Introvert Palace. Check out the bracelet, it's pretty cool and it even includes Pluto. The link to purchase will all be in the description below and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye!